Hi guys, this is a customer review on the Black Box XR16 Hatchling and Juvenile Rack. And I have to say that this is quite a space saving rack. I'll show you my room. It's not that big. But the rack does so much more. So I wanted to start with the talking of the dimensions of the one particular rack in general. Just one. It's got a 3 foot tall rack, about 36 inches. And then from the wall to this, this right here, it's 21 inches, and we've got a nice, cool-looking logo. Sorry to break the point from that, but sweet etching, not too deep, and yet so visibly cool. And then from left to right here at the seam, we got a 32 inches. But when I combine them, looking from here to there, that's a 64-inch length and an excellent work table. But if you weren't looking for a work table, you can stack them. They got excellent peg points here. They use metal pegs that they sent to me. And I could have stacked this together. And this could have been roughly 68 and a half inches stacked without the second toe kick on it. Did I mention that the toe kick was free? That's awesome because the fact that I got tile flooring. And tile does not hold a lot of heat well, especially in... Right now it's winter here in Virginia. So, getting back on the point, I want to talk about versatility, the ability to switch tubs in and out. They chose to base their their rack line on Vision tubs. And uh, the tubs in general that we're going to be talking about will be these V35 short tubs. They're holding currently adult male and sub-adult female ball pythons. And uh, just to showcase one, I got a 1300 gram male ball python right here, my Firefly, and he's sitting comfortably on there using hemp bedding, experimenting at this point. And he's, he's doing well enough. And I have a pastel blade clown sitting on his end of this, uh, this rack and it's doing comfortably. So I got to say, that's a lot that you can hold into one rack is 16, 16 adults. But uh, let me get on to the next part is, uh, going on the versatility right here. We have a bunch of freedom breeder five hatchling tubs. I decided to spend a little bit more simply because I love cup holders. <laughs> I think a lot of people kind of like not having to break their backs uh, holding a lot of cer ceramic bowls. But my hatchlings are doing comfortably in these uh, vision styled tubs that Freedom Breeder had decided to improve on. And I'm going to get back onto that um, once I show you the next set where these also vision style crafted tubs from Freedom Breeder, these FB8s. They also have cup holders in there and I got some more hatchlings to show. They're doing comfortably on hemp bedding as well. <clears throat> Moving on, I wanna talk numbers. So already we have 16 here for the V35 shorts. If I really wanted to space this out, these tubs, three across can go to six across and vice versa. I have two across, that would have been four across. So if we're doing a little bit of math here, this could have held 48 of these vision style tubs into one rack. And that's a lot of hatchlings um, that you can put in. Or you can go for these and you can hold 32. That's an impressive amount to be holding into a rack. Uh, especially at the price that they're giving at. And uh, it makes me want to, as soon as I can, buy two more, just so I can have the ability to say, stack into a four square. <laughs> so, talking on price, it's $455 for one of these bad boys. And to me, that is for the quality, the craftsmanship, and for what it's worth, um, especially in space saving, because originally, uh, this wall and this wall was just full of makeshift racks, off-brand racks. Don't want to break them out, but yeah, I saved quite a lot of space. Uh, 
just you getting that just getting these two and i have them on a herbistat four because plans i am gonna get two <laughs> big shout out to you black box i love it so as a as a multifunctional used rack i have to say that i i dig it i truly do i'm using it as a work table right now it's holding a bunch of adults and sub adults and a bunch of hatchlings from small to your large size ones i'll pick out one i think you have a pretty decent size one right here that i just wanted to show for a size comparison and then you know a nice little small little cinnamon pied one but yeah overall i have to say this is a nice not just nice i'm sorry an excellent product uh and you won't go wrong for for putting a little bit more money in your investments which is why i believe from me to you that this is a product worth your time and your money